cholesterol levels are again on the rise in Australia. Today, medical editor Dr. Rick Gordon joins me. Doc, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Carl. What did the study find? Well, they looked at about 200,000 medical records all around Australia and found that our levels of cholesterol are slowly starting to creep up again. Now, I've got to stress that cholesterol is actually good for you. Uh, it's very important in the way we repair cells and make cells, and it's important for making hormones. Most of it is made in our liver, and it's transported out to the cells where it's needed, and that's done by a protein called low-density protein, lipoprotein. And if that is too high in your blood, then you end up with all the cholesterol in the wrong places, and it ends up clogging up your arteries, and we know that high cholesterol is bad for heart disease. Well, when you say that cholesterol is good for you, that's the delicate balance, isn't it? Very much so. In fact, the high-density lipoproteins, they're the ones that actually carry the cholesterol back from the cells, back to the liver to be uh, detoxified, if you like. That's the most important cholesterol to have in your, in your body. Okay. Uh, it's the balance. The, the weird thing about the study was that there are differences in states. Yeah. I, I, How does that explain? I, I don't know. And, and it's really hard to explain that you, if you live in Queensland and ACT, you have lower cholesterol than if you were to live in Tasmania, Victoria and South Australia. So it's, it's really hard. I, I don't think our diet is sufficiently different amongst Australians in different states like that. Whether there's a genetic difference, because we do know that cholesterol levels are very much genetically determined as well. So whether these are just different populations or just a statistical quirk. What are some of the things, if you, if you want the good cholesterol rather than the bad, what are the things to actually um, to eat and what are the things not to eat in order to keep those levels down? Well, certainly we're trying to improve high-density lipoprotein cholesterol. That's the one that gets it out of your bloodstream. And, and to do that, you're really talking about taking toxins out of your diet, such as smoking. We're talking about the polysaturated fats, and, and most of these are animal fats. So we're talking, unfortunately, all the good foods, butter, eggs, meat, chicken, those sorts of things, carry the, the low-density uh, and, and the saturated fats that our body then uses to make more low-density or bad cholesterol. So we've got to exercise more, and we've got to decrease the amount of saturated fats going in our Good thing to get that checked out through that cholesterol. Get your GP because it's the blood levels that count, and if it's high, get onto it because it will kill you. All right, good stuff. Thank you. Well, not good stuff, but good advice. Thank you very much, Carl. Pleasure. See you soon. Lisa. Thanks, Carl. We'll come